Hello, it's Frank Deardorff, that one web guy, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use HT Access to redirect different parts of your website somewhere else. Now, I know that sounds maybe uh, kind of technical, but I'm going to try to show it to you in a way where uh, it makes it makes sense and reasons why you'd want to do that. Now, I'm going to be using a site called FrankRecommends.com, uh, and I'm going to log into my cPanel. Uh, that was from my uh, reseller. I have a reseller account with my hosting. Um, that's what you see in there. Normally you would go to whatever domain forward slash cPanel, log in, and you would see this similar thing. What I want to do is I'm going to go into File Manager. Now you can do this if you want using um, FTP services, download the file, modify it in a text file, re-upload it, and things like that. I just find this the simplest way, and right now it's always best to do simple. So what I want to do is I'm going to go to public HTML folder, double click, and we have an HT access file right here. This is the dot HT access file. If you do not see this, either you do not have one or it's hidden. A dot file means it's a hidden file. If that's your case, then you'll want to come up here to settings and click show hidden files and click save and it will show that file for you. If it doesn't, then you can create a text file and add that name it that way as well. To do that you would click on plus file you would call it .htaccess create new file and you can modify exactly what we're doing that way but we already have it here so I'm going to right click and I'm going to click edit it's going to ask me if I'm sure type of thing it's going to say you know it's going to explain it to me I'm just going to say edit and what we want to do and I have WordPress and some other things going on here. I'm just going to go down to the bottom of it here. And what I'm going to do is if I want to do, uh, maybe I want to use, um, so let's go to Frank Recommends real quick. And see what pages we have here, if we have any. Um, I am just have this up as a uh, temp site that I'm working with. Um, I don't think I have anything here going. Uh, so if I put in something like um, business, it's going to say this page can't be found. So what I want to do is I want to put um, redirect, it doesn't have to be all in capitals, forward slash business, and I want to say that I want to take it to my main business site. So I'm going to put in frankdeardorf.com. I'm going to save changes. And now when we come back and refresh this page, it should go to my main business page. So I could use, uh, since I'm doing this as Frank recommends, I could actually create different links and two different areas. So maybe I have an art site, maybe I have um, a service that I want to promote, I could actually put in the name of that service, like I've done a video recently on um, video screen clipping, you know, and I talk about Snagit, so I could actually put forward slash Snagit and redirect it to the TechSmith Snagit page so people could download that area. So that's just one way that you could add a redirect. Um, I work with some businesses, uh, some site promoters that they have, um, they're doing a seminar or something like that, and a lot of times what they have me do is they will put having put in hotel and then they'll put in their link to the hotel you know, they have a special registration link for the hotel so we can put it there and then what they can do is then of course the name of their promotion the site that they're promoting forward slash hotel and it just redirects it looks much cleaner it looks more professional so that's one way that you want to do it you can also uh, if you're doing a redirect I did a previous video on doing a uh, domain redirect you could also um, I actually logged in and showed how to change it at the registrar. Maybe it's just a temporary or maybe it's a permanent one, but you want to control it yourself. So what you could do is you could come in and you would put in the redirect. I shouldn't have erased all that. And if I'm wanting to do a temporary redirect, I would put in 302, put the slash saying that I want all of the site traffic to go to the new site. Um, I could say, you know, put in the URL to the site that I want it to go to. Um, in this case, I think it was something like HTTPS forward slash or slash slash uh, Frank. Oh, come on. Can't type Frank dot com forward slash tags forward slash. Um, 
I don't. I think it was um, services or no. I think it was uh, recommends. No, it was resources. That was what it was. Resources. So when I do that, if when somebody goes to put in uh, frankrecommends.com, it would go to the resources page. So if I click save there, and I go to Frank recommends now, it should go to that tags page. Um, it's going to something. I must have typed something. It's going to a page called resources. So um, I had a typo, but you get the drift. Um, I'm not going to try to sort that down. I'm going to keep this video short for you, but that's how it would do that. Now, one thing that I wanted to point out, notice I did a 302. That's going to be a temporary. If I want to make it permanent, I would call it 301. It, it'll give me the same thing. Now, we can also do a few other options. Maybe we want to say um, a certain file or a certain page name on here is a permanent or a temporary redirect. So if I want to do a temporary redirect, uh, maybe I'm in a maintenance mode. I could say index.php or index.htm or HTML redirects to that resource. Maybe I wanted to go to, um, I wanted to go to the whole site, you know, just the base of the site. So you could do that as well. So there are various different ways that you can handle. Um, that scenario. So you could actually do, uh, if you've done some SEO on your site uh, and you want to do a, a permanent redirect, maybe you've changed your categories. So you could actually say uh, something like uh, slash category would go to a category in the name. So like if I had resources, um, I don't on this site. Um, and I wanted to put it to um, I would put it at um, yeah put in the whole site name forward slash category and then recommends it would go to that instead. So there are, as I said, many ways that you can change this. There's a lot of different things you can do with redirects and with the HT access file. But that's what I'm going to show you today to keep it simple uh, because I know that's a lot of the things that people ask about. Um, I hope you found this video useful. Um, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll be glad to answer them and show you in another video. Go ahead and click the like button, the subscribe, and click the bell to be notified when I post new videos. I hope you found this useful and we'll talk again soon.